So the FDA has just cleared Pfizer's vaccine for emergency use and people will begin receiving the vaccine as early as Monday. We will also discuss all the states currently giving out their own stimulus checks, rental assistance, debit cards, new states are being added to the list every day. We also have heavy hitter senators who are willing to risk it all to make sure that you and I get a second $1,200 stimulus check. All the news and more on today's stimulus check and stimulus package update for today, Saturday, December 12th. Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, hi, my name is Monica and I post videos all about the stimulus check, the stimulus package, personal finance, real estate, breaking news is here on this channel. So if you are interested in topics like those, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button right here on the screen and join the community. We would love to have you. Also, please Hulk smash the like button. I will take a moment and let you do that. Thank you for doing that. Also, please turn on your post notifications so you never miss any of my breaking news or any of my updates. And last, don't forget to get your four free stocks with Weeble when you deposit $100 on the platform. You are eligible to get four free stocks valued at up to $1,600. $100 when you deposit $100 on the platform. So be sure to check out the link in my bio. Without further ado, let's hop right into your update. Now let's start off with stimulus checks. Now at the start of the day, Friday, US Senators Bernie Saunders and Josh Hawley said they would request a vote on a $350 billion bill to provide a new round of stimulus checks of $1,200 for adults and $500 for children in legislation before Congress can go home for the year. Now their clout comes because they can use procedural methods to delay congressional action on both a new stimulus bill and on legislation funding the federal government through next September. Saunders said, in the midst of so much economic desperation, Congress cannot go on recess without providing this $1,200 emergency assistance to the American people in their time of need. Now, to fill you in, yes, the continuing resolution passed through the House, through the Senate, it was signed by the President yesterday, meaning we won't have a government shutdown and they have a new deadline of December 18th to finalize and pass the stimulus bill and the government spending bill. Now personally, I think it is insane that the House, the Senate, and the President were able to get a bill passed, signed, and right on through in two days, in, in less than a week, but we can't seem to get it together in months to pass a $1,200 stimulus check for the American people. There is some discussion in the bipartisan group about getting rid of state and local aid and putting stimulus checks in lieu of that. Now, state and local aid is going to help teachers, firefighters, policemen. I definitely think we need state and local aid, especially as hard as teachers have been working this semester for the first time, a lot of teachers on Zoom figuring it out, so they don't deserve to lose their job. Now, Holly said it was good progress that the bipartisan group was considering adding stimulus payments to their package. He said, quote, this ought not to be difficult, so I'm hopeful we can get it done, but we'll see, stay tuned lawmakers are continuing talks over this weekend to try to overcome the last remaining hurdle, which is providing some protections against lawsuits for businesses, schools, and other institutions. Now, of the 6,634 coronavirus-related lawsuits filed to date, only 29 involve injury or death due to COVID-19, according to the law firm Hunton Andrews Kurt. Now, what I'm not understanding is there really are not a lot of coronavirus-related lawsuits happening. I mean, maybe a handful per state. So this intensity over liability protections for businesses is very confusing because no one is really trying to sue businesses right now. I do wanna take this moment to let you all know that I'm having a giveaway. So if you want to enter the giveaway, be sure to share my videos. Once we get to 16,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway of $100. Once we hit 20,000 subscribers, I'll be doing another giveaway of $1,000. 
30,000 subscribers, I will be doing another giveaway of $2,500. So be sure to share this video, get your friends and family in order to have your chance at winning the grand prize of $2,500. And last, let's discuss states giving out stimulus. I'm so glad states are doing their own thing. We cannot continue to wait for the government. Now let's start off with Maine. Maine will offer a one-time $600 payment to workers receiving unemployment before the end of the year to partially compensate for the end of federal unemployment benefits. Next up is Maryland. Maryland Comptroller Peter B.R. Franco said Friday that the time has come for the state to fill this void. The state's chief tax collector is is approving a one-time stimulus payment to lower wage workers. They have one and a half billion dollars in state reserves that could be spent immediately to prevent evictions, feed the hungry, provide medical care, and also support small businesses. Next, Rhode Island. Rhode Island Governor Gina Raimondo said that all Rhode Island residents who receive unemployment benefits during the state's two-week pause to stop the spread of COVID-19 will get an extra $200 a week. Rhode Island is also giving out a one-time payment of $600 cash if people have SNAP with a child on it. So you would get that money on your SNAP card. Next, let's discuss Washington, D.C. A second round of stimulus checks for select Americans was announced in Washington, D.C. on Monday. Muriel Bowser, the mayor of D.C., said on Monday her government will use a portion of its CARES Act funding to provide a one-time $1,200 stimulus payment for residents who are currently receiving pandemic unemployment assistance. Colorado started issuing $375 stimulus payments to residents who have suffered financial hardship due to the pandemic. New Mexico will also provide one-time $1,200 payments to recipients of unemployment benefits. Oregon partnered with private sector banks and credit unions to give qualifying residents a $500 emergency relief payment. Alaska, California, Colorado, Maryland, New Mexico, and New York City are among the areas that have injected fresh rounds of assistance over the past two weeks, including stimulus checks, extra unemployment benefits, interest-free loans for small businesses, and housing assistance. So that is it. That is your update for today, Saturday, December 12th. Be sure to like this video. It really helps my channel out so much. Comment down below your state so I can do more research on more states. That is all the information I have now on states that are doing their own stimulus packages. And also turn on your notifications so you never miss any of my updates. I will be putting out some more information in regards to Social Security, SSI, VA beneficiaries, representative payees, as well as people who have EBT, SNAP benefits, everything like that. So I will be doing more videos on that. But until next time, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you all in the next stimulus check and stimulus package update. Bye guys.